Hey doll baddie, so I'm just showing you guys right here the braid pattern I use for frontal sewings and installing wigs. So yeah, now I'm taking this wig that I custom colored. The hair was originally 613 and I will put the link down below in the description and the color to, well the dye I used to, to achieve this color was Adore Periwinkle. But right now I'm just taking my white pencil outlining the outline of the lace, bringing the line more forward than where the lace, um, placement is actually gonna be so right now i'm just taking my gossipy gel and i'm putting it on her hairline forehead ish and um before i did this step i definitely did take the gossipy glue with a little the edge brush and i brushed all her hair going back so none of her hair will be affected at all everything is pushed bike so once you go ahead and put a thin little layer, you want to take your wig cap and I like to cut holes in the wig cap where the ears is at so that it sits way more better the wig cap than trying to do it with no ears being cut out. But this is so much, so much, so much easier and I love to sew down my wig cap so your wig cap is not sliding back while you're wearing the install. It's keeping everything in place and intact. So I always, always, always sew the back down of my wigs and I do not glue the back of my wigs down or any wigs down i rather sew it so um yeah so um what i was gonna say right now i'm just taking alcohol after i um used some spritz and i blow dried it and i cut the excess cap off i'm just taking alcohol cleaning off her um forehead and her skin to make sure when i place the glue is no extra residue and i do have her foundation color concealer color on the cap as well as on the wig now i didn't show this clip on camera but i took her i used the la girl pork concealer i can't remember the shade but you would just use your client shade and take a beauty blender and tap it in um into the lace so that's what you do to get the lace match you know similar to the lace if you are doing a dark skin client and you get in a transparent lace it's going to be so much harder to it's, you're still going to have that white flash bit so be mindful what kind of laces your clients is bringing but again i'm going back and i put the wig back on again because i wanted to make sure that the cap i didn't have extra cap you know that was going to be in the way and then i also um took the white eyeliner and i did um a line of the wig again just so i know how curvy to make the glue and stuff like that because i don't be putting my glue straight across uh, no we're not doing no line of no wig we gonna put it in little curves and dips and stuff like that so the glue is i'm using is got to be glued and then i'm just taking the silver of the red tail comb and i'm thinning out the glue because you don't want it to be bulky and on my clients i do like to use three layers of this glue just for a stronger and more harder hold and you want to make sure y'all know if you wear laces the ears part be the quickest part to lift up so make sure that you put in it a little more further back so that the um adhesive is sticking to the lace once you um apply the wig and y'all would not believe so much footage from this install disappeared vanished Psh, voila and i no longer have them so i'm just creating this video of what i do still have and right now to take off the extra lace you know to get rid of lace that you don't need i'm just taking a tweezer to pull the lace and then um taking a razor eyebrow razor and just shredding it off i'm not using scissors because scissors is too it's too defiant too much of a sharp ugly look i just scissors is not soft at all like so you know as we're evolving and doing laces you just learn new things or what to do and what looks better so i no longer use scissors the only time i really use scissors to cut the lace if it's like you know them parts that just will not stick for nothing you go ahead and cut that off but i'm not gonna be cutting like the whole damn hair the forehead hairline when no scissors not no because the line of demarcation is just so ridiculous once it's jagged it just melts better and it's more softer when it has that rough edge look from the razor comb that it creates on the lace material so yeah just right now what i'm doing is taking the tweezer and just taking my time and removing the excess of what don't need to be there and then y'all know the pieces that obviously need to be reglued you will go back and as i'm doing right now here i am um 
gonna apply some glue so that I could put down those little parts. And once you go ahead and finish gluing down the rest of the um the lace that needs to be down, you will just take your alcohol and remove the um white marks, you know, the little white pencil before you do the baby hairs because it's gonna be hard for you to be trying to wipe that off after you done did the baby hairs. So do it after you're done gluing everything down before the baby hairs. Just take some alcohol again and just you know wipe that off, and then I'm gonna just press the rest of the lace into the glue so it could be a nice meltdown i'm just taking the back of the edge brush just pressing it down into the skin and then you will take your blow dryer on warm heat and dry it into place as well You want to also make sure you're doing that on the other side. But once everything all together, baby, we in there like swimwear. And like I was telling y'all before, once you, you know, glue everything down, you want to go ahead and just remove the excess white line. And then now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do the baby hairs, where I'm going to place the baby hairs. A, you know, every baby hair hairstyle is different depending on, you know, the shape of the client and also their preference of how much baby hair they would like, you know, if they request or once you ask them, whatever the case may be. But every baby hair is placement is different because everybody has shape be different. But um, y'all probably finna kill me because I'm so sorry that's the end of this video. But this is the final look. I'm so sorry, y'all. The footage just vanished, but I still wanted to upload this video. So y'all could just at least get the prepping of the molding of the wig install. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, y'all already know the deal to go ahead and put that down below. I will check y'all out in the next one. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to be at the to be a part of the Dial Betty Gang, and I will check y'all in the next one.